growing up here, I remember that when you went to school and your teacher was talking, you couldn't talk back. Right. In the U.S., I saw children being so disrespectful to the teacher. <laughs> it was such a cultural shock. You were surprised. I was very surprised. Yeah. If you are a diasporan or if you are in abroad and you want to invest, please kindly do come to Ghana. Yeah. I have, there are a lot of foreigners investing. Mm -hmm. So Ghana was very different from the Ghana I left mm -hmm. so many years back. But um, I've seen new developments, you know, yeah. uh, even where we used to live before mm -hmm. now. It has it's completely different. Completely different. Ever since I moved to abroad, yeah. People always compliment me and say, but you speak the language so well. And what I told them was that if you lose your language, you, you lose your identity. True. And so that was a big thing for me. After so many years, I have decided to come back to my root. Wonderful people, welcome back to the channel. It's the start of a beautiful new week. I don't know at what point you see this video, but whatever the time be, I hope you all be doing as amazing as I am. My name is Ajoadi. I'm going to be your host for today. This is the Motherland series, and on this series, we listen to people's experiences, hear their journeys to the motherland, Ghana. Today, I have a beautiful woman at our head office. She came in, I've met her before. We had a brief conversation and I'm so excited for um, whatever we're gonna talk about today. So please, let's all together welcome Blessings. Hi. Hello, Ajoa. It's Blessings, plural. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> quite interesting. This is the first time I'm hearing anybody. Like, I usually hear blessing, mm -hmm. but today I'm hearing blessings. blessings. Yes. Wonderful. How are you? I'm well, thank you, Aja. How are you? I'm good, too. Wonderful. You look really nice. Thank you. I love you? the whole natural vibe that you have going, <laughs> the locks. Mm -hmm. thank How you. long have you kept them for? Oh, this is my second year. <laughs> okay. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you the for next time I see you, it'll probably be. It will probably be. Then you can give me there. some tips on <laughs> yes. how to grow mine, too. Yes. Yes. I'll All definitely right. do that. Yes. So we We'd mostly like to start mm -hmm. with um, listening to the background mm -hmm. of our guest. Mm -hmm. I know you're from the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, how was it like um, living out there? Okay, so I, I've been in the U.S. for quite some time now. Right. I'll say for more than two decades. Okay. So um, it's very interesting. Mm. I practiced practically grew up there. Mm -hmm. um, was that where you were born? I wasn't born there. Okay. I was born here in Ghana. Oh, <laughs> so you're a Ghanaian then? I'm a Ghanaian. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. And so um, the cultural, of course, there are cultural differences. Mm -hmm. um, growing up here, I remember that when you went to school and your teacher was talking, you couldn't talk back. Right. In the U.S., I saw children being so disrespectful to the teacher. <laughs> it was such a cultural shock. You were surprised. I was very surprised. Yeah. And I realized that, okay, so the kids have so much power, right. unlike here. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was the first cultural shock for me. Mm -hmm. And um, growing up there, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. I always admire and I'm so appreciative of the opportunity. Right. My parents taking us there to get the best education. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful to God for that. Yeah. Um, but you know, if God blesses you, you must always give back. Exactly. And after so many years, I have decided to come back to my roots. You're welcome. Thank you very always much. Always and always. Thank you very, Wait, very but much. But at what age did you go to the U.S.? I went to the U.S. when I was about 13 years old. Okay. That yes. was fairly young. Yes. Okay. It was you and then a few and my, siblings. And a few siblings okay. and my parents, yes. Wonderful. Yes. And you've built uh, an amazing life for yourself out there. Yes. And now you think it's time, it's time to come, come back to yes. the motherland. Yes. yes. Are you relocating fully to Ghana at this point? At this point, I am still trying to get a hang of the culture, mm -hmm. the people. Yeah. Um, because going, going there so young, mm. 
there are still so many things I need to learn. Yeah. So at the moment, I just want to get a feel of Ghana. Mm -hmm. But in the future, I do see myself coming back. That's amazing. To settle. Ever since you left at 13, mm -hmm. you've only been back. This is the second time. This is the second okay. time. Okay. Yes. What did you come for the first time? Was it family? The first time was for family. Okay. Um, I haven't seen a lot of family members. Aww. They saw me when I was so young. So I wanted to come back and just see them and yeah. just spend quality family time, which I was grateful to get that mm -hmm. experience. And I loved Ghana. I mean, I saw Ghana from a different lens mm -hmm. and I definitely wanted to come back, you know, and so here I am. <laughs> yeah. How was the feeling like when you came back after that, like leaving at 13 yes. and coming back finally? Yes. What was it like, like, was it the Ghana you recognized from it your wasn't. childhood days? It wasn't the Ghana I recognized. I realized that Ghana has developed so much. Sure. And I have seen a lot of foreigners coming in to invest as well. Mm. So um, if you are a diasporan or if you are in abroad and you want to invest, please kindly do come to Ghana. Yeah. I have, there are a lot of foreigners investing. Mm -hmm. So Ghana was very different from the Ghana I left mm -hmm. so many years back. But um, I've seen new developments. You know, yeah. uh, even where we used to live before mm -hmm. now, it has it's completely different. Completely different. So Ghana has changed, yeah, and it has changed for the best. Exactly. Yes, that is amazing. <laughs> well, I have to appreciate your mindset first and foremost because you have you. a lot of people that um, get the opportunity to travel outside. Mm -hmm. It can be for several reasons: mm -hmm. people for greener pastures, mm -hmm. people for solely for education, mm -hmm. um, and most of the times when these people leave. Mm -hmm. it becomes quite difficult mm -hmm. for them to retrace yes. their roots back to Ghana yes. but you have experienced the, the life out there mm -hmm. and you've decided okay mm -hmm. I need to frequently come back mm -hmm. hopefully in the future mm -hmm. settle so mm -hmm. that is amazing thank you what would you say to people that don't see the essence as um, in always you know tracing their roots back to where they're from mm -hmm. so this is what I'll tell you ever since I moved to abroad yeah. people always compliment me and say but you speak the language so well and what I told them was that if you lose your language you, you lose your identity sure. and so that was a big thing for me and I, I'm teaching my children our language and our culture if you are in if you're a diaspora mm -hmm. or if you're in abroad and you're not thinking about coming back it's the biggest mistake because this is where you are from right. this is your route and even foreigners have seen the essence of coming to our soil and investing here. Mm -hmm. So why not you? You are from here. So I'll encourage everybody that is in, the, that is in abroad. Mm -hmm. If you're not thinking about coming back to invest, please start thinking about it. True. Because I strongly believe that the future really is in Africa. Mm -hmm. And so if you see foreigners coming in, they are not insane. They have seen something about the continent. Exactly. And that is why they are investing. Yeah. And I will encourage you to not, uh, to, uh, to, to not exclude yourself from this future. Yeah. Definitely become part of the experience. That's lovely that you're teaching your kids how yes. to speak the local. Yes. Which one is it? Tree? Tree. Oh, <laughs> so how does that go? Like you speak it with them at home? Yes, I speak it with them at home. Mm -hmm. um, they take the opportunity to learn for themselves oh. because I'm marketing Ghana to them. Mm -hmm. I want them to see the beauty of where I come from. And in due time, I want them to come and have the experience. That would be amazing. Yes. I'm sure they'll have a wonderful time. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. So how did you find Royal Kingdom Estates? You've done business with us. I do. Uh, I today, yes. you're yes. here on another business basis as yes. well. Yes. So first and foremost, how did you find us? Okay. So I am very inquisitive. Okay. Whenever I go to the internet, I go to YouTube, I mm. want to see how Africa is developing. I'm very interested in mm. construction. Okay. So I came across Royal Kingdom. I, came, I saw that a lot of people from the diaspora is coming back. Mm -hmm. And I was so curious right. because one thing about people that are in abroad not wanting to invest, I think our biggest problem is mm. land litigation right. and other hustles that we go mm -hmm. through. And from the testimony that people were given concerning royal kingdom was astonishing right. and i was so curious so i wanted to know what really mm -hmm. what, it royal, was. what is what is it about royal yeah. kingdom and what are they doing mm -hmm. and so i started inquiring i started watching more videos mm -hmm. about royal kingdom 
and then I contacted some people to okay. connect me here and they did and so far it has been nothing but wonderful experience yeah. and I'm not surprised why people from the diaspora are coming here and specifically using your services yeah. because you 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 promise that I'm gonna give and you keep that promise yeah. and to us it's a big deal That's amazing. especially watching the internet and seeing so many people mm -hmm. being scammed yeah. being taken advantage of and Royal Kingdom is setting that higher standard telling people that we are here and we are going to give you a different experience. Yeah, so yes, we're very, very keen on building a reputation of trust, yes. especially amongst our clients, because yes. it's very, very um, difficult for somebody to trust you and mm -hmm. say, okay, I'm giving you my hard earned money mm -hmm. for you to uh, provide certain services. Mm -hmm. So when people instill that trust in you mm -hmm. and then you break it, it's mm -hmm. really, really hard because people suffer to get their, uh, Th their money. That is true. Yes, yeah, so as a company, we're trying to work hard so we can serve everybody accordingly and mm -hmm. then provide you mm -hmm. with the properties mm -hmm. of your dreams. Yes. So I'm so excited that you found us. You bought some plots at Gray City. Yes. Why did you choose Gray City? I chose Gray City. The name alone <laughs> was very touching to me. Yeah. I saw so many people there. I saw that even though you guys are giving people the best services, mm -hmm. your lands are also reasonable prices. Yeah. And Gray City was a place that I felt my family and I would love. And so um, I also saw the terrain. Oh my goodness, it's, it's beautiful. so beautiful, <laughs> so beautiful. So that was another, another reason why I chose Gray yeah. City. So um, I saw so many people come in there and the joy and the, the, the excitement and the things they were saying about the terrain and seeing it for myself, I just couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. Oh, you visited the site. I have. And you were so was, in love with it. I was in love. I was <laughs> astonished, taken aback by yeah. the beauty of the mountains. Exactly. It was just gorgeous. A lot of people are starting to uh, jeer towards, you know, the Ebri uh, vicinity. A lot of the diasporans, they love it. Most yes. of our clients, they come in, they're like, okay. Yes. First and foremost, before you show me anything else, <laughs> do you have anything in Ebri? In Ebri, And yes. then quickly, I yes. think mostly it's because of the weather, the yes. landscape, yes. just yes. everything yes. about it. Everything it's about very, it. very appealing. Yes. And so I'm I'm glad you got your parts. Thank you. What are you going to do with it? Is it like an investment um, purchase or are you, are you going to build a property for yourself and your family? I'm going to build a property for myself and my family. Okay. Um, the terrain is gorgeous. The weather is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I just cannot imagine, you know, some few years to come, yeah. you have something there that you can always come home to. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Yes. A lot of people, um, one other thing that um, makes them a bit skeptical mm -hmm. is they're like okay it's a bit it's not too far out of town yes. it's still in close proximity mm -hmm. um, to the capital but mm -hmm. people want to be closer mm -hmm. to the capital but mm -hmm. some of you mm -hmm. you're like okay mm -hmm. i just need to be a stone throw away yes. still have access mm -hmm. and be able to live mm -hmm. away yes. in some sense you know mm -hmm. yes just have the peace yes. of the little um countryside yes i think that that's how it was for you as well yes that's how it was for me we love the city mm. We love the city. There are a lot of people that live in New York City because they love the city life. Yeah. At the same time, personally, I'm not a city, city person. True. I like that serenity, mm -hmm. that tranquility where you're at your own space. Mm -hmm. You have neighbors. Yeah. You are comfortable there. There is no noise. Mm -hmm. But then when you want to go to the city again, you have that easy access exactly. to be able to in. go and get the things you need and yeah. come back home. Yeah. So, yes, for the same reason. That yeah. is why I chose <laughs> Great City. When you're finally ready to live there, I can assure you that it would be so easy mm -hmm. and wonderful because you have access to a lot of amenities like yes. on that stretch you yes. have hospitals you yes. have schools yes. you have malls mm -hmm. like everything mm -hmm. has been provided so mm -hmm. i can't wait to see <laughs> the structure that you put up same here and how you fit <laughs> so beautifully in the um layout or the the site development plan that we're trying to put up yes. so I can't wait till that day, Same honestly. Here. <laughs> um, any final words to the people that are watching you currently? Okay. So if you're watching me and you're a, dias you're a diaspora, and I've already mentioned that investing in Africa yeah. is not by mistake. Believe it or not, Africa is the future. 
I strongly believe that. Yeah. And if we see foreigners coming in into our continent and investing, it is not something, they are not insane. Mm. Um, it's something that you're gonna rip eventually. You will rip what you're sowing you, and you will reach bountifully. Yeah. So come back, give back to your people, give back to Africa, mm. give back to something that will be meaningful to you and your generation. And so that is what I will tell you to okay. come back and invest. All right, blessings. Well, Aquaba, thank once you. again. Thank and you, Medassi. Thank you for plugging your family as well. I know you've brought somebody here yes. to also run some inquiries. Yes, that yes. is how it goes. Yes. When you come and experience the service and it's good for you, mm -hmm. you've shared the good news with other people yes. and then collectively, yes. we all, you know, move along in harmony yes. so thank you so much for having this conversation with me it's my pleasure being here joa <laughs> thank you guys um subscribe to the channel like the video share it we still have plots that are selling on all of our developments gray city the view black star village so if you want to purchase if you want to build a stunning home in the future just like blessing <laughs> then just contact us and we'll help you with all your inquiries so you can acquire your dream property stay glued to the platform we'll be back with more content mm -hmm.